G'day guys, Sparky Dave here. This is a quick video demonstrating how to cut and fit an external grill. Never place an external grill directly in the vicinity of a gas caliphant and always attempt to locate the grill where it is obscured from view when looking out of a window. Outside here, the new external grill is going to be 150mm, so we're going to be using a 159mm carbide tip bit for cutting through the safete. As you can see, the external grill sits nice and snug inside the 159mm piece. Need to relocate these portable veggie gardens out of the way. So what I've done here off camera is I've identified firstly where timber features in the safete. Now if you look for nails that have been painted over, that dictates where the timber runs perpendicular to the wall. You can knock on it, you'll hear a solid noise behind the nail, which dictates there's timber there. And if you knock away from where the timber is, you'll hear a nice hollow noise. And that's where I want to cut into. Given that it's 159, 160mm cutout I'm going to be doing, I have to allow for 80mm clearance from the timber to the centre of this. I've estimated 20mm for the timber and then I've left 100mm extra to the centre point of my mark. If I wanted to be a bit safer and I wasn't sure of the thickness of this timber, I'd bring it out further left from this point. So maybe an extra 20 or 30 mils over. And that will eliminate any possibility of drilling where this timber in the safete. Before drilling, I want to make sure the safete isn't an asbestos containing material without adequate PPE. Because I know this is a modern house, I've got no risk of drilling through asbestos in the safete. However, if it was an older house, I'd generally get a small screwdriver and try and poke it through the safete where I'm going to drill. A good indication of a board that contains asbestos is the inability to push a screwdriver or screw a screw through it. So I'll quickly drill this one off camera. As you can see, I've cut a nice hole centered to this feet and looking up you can see that the timber is a nice distance away from the edge of the hole here there's about 20 mils between the edge of the timber and the edge of the hole next thing is going to be taping the grill onto the ducting the most important thing is orientation so with these bathroom fans, the best aesthetic looking thing is to have the louvers facing the wall of the house. Now if we look from the outside here, we can't see any aluminium ducting once that's installed. Whereas if this was turned around the opposite way, you'll be able to look up it and see the aluminium ducting. So we'll have this facing the house wall. Before popping the front grills out, the best thing to do is tape it on so at least it's taped on the correct way and then we can straighten it out and screw it in. Now that that's taped on, because I've used a 159mm hole saw, it will easily pop up into the safete. All I need to do is remove this internal grill to be able to access the screw holes. Now to make this perfectly aligned, I want to measure from the edge of the gutter in here to the edge of the unit. The first thing I want to do is anchor one screw in the corner, but hold it up as straight as possible while I do it. The first screw is done. I should also state the screws I'm using are stainless steel screws because it's an external environment. The next part, I'm going to measure from either side, from this side, We've got about 85 mil, and we'll double check that from the other side to make sure they perfectly line up. By doing these measurements we're ensuring that the square grill is uniform with the other materials of the house. Now it's perfectly straight, I can go ahead and fire the rest of the screws in. Throw the square grill back on you'll notice it will only mount one way.
And that's the outside grill done. Cheers for watching.